Hey there, welcome to this tutorial. In this quick video, I want to show you how our software Starito.com works. I'm not sure if you have signed up here on our homepage. If not, you can go here and click on try for free. Before we jump into the software, I want to explain you what distinguishes us from other scheduling tools. So first of all, we are focused on Instagram stories and Instagram reels. You can schedule both and have them automatically posted. That's the main difference between other tools because other scheduling tools will still send you a notification on your phone and you then you have to post the story yourself on the date when you have it scheduled. But Storito will automatically do that for you. So when you have a story scheduled on Sunday morning, you don't have to get out of bed because we will do the posting job for you. And another main difference is that we can post it with all the Instagram stickers. So you can add hashtags, you can add emojis, locations, polls, countdown stickers, and most importantly, you can add the link sticker. So in short, this is the main difference. You can create your Instagram stories and reels on your desktop PC with all these stickers, schedule it, and Storito will automatically post it without any notification or without any manual work required from you. Yeah, we're doing this over four and a half years now, as you can see here, and we have posted almost 9 million stories for our clients, and we have over 273,000 social media managers who are already using Storito. So welcome on board, I would say, and then let's directly jump in and see how it works. On the next screen, you can simply sign up with Google or an email and password. And once you have done that, you will land on the gallery of Storito. This is the area where you can upload your creatives. For example, you can simply drag and drop from your desktop PC your pictures or images. Because you can schedule both with Storito, it doesn't matter if it's an image or a video. Now the video was uploaded. I will show you how it works with the video, but you can later on do the same with pictures, of course. So now you click on open and you can either directly go in and post it now or schedule it, but this would be just the video without any stickers on it. So let's first go to the editor and see how it works with the stickers. Here you are in the editor, you can see your story and on the left side, you see all the Instagram stickers. So you can use the link sticker, hashtags, mention, locations and so on. So for example, I add the link Sticker. Then you would simply put in the URL, the name of the link sticker, what should be displayed there. Then you click add and now the link sticker is directly added to your story. You can drag and drop it around. You can tilt it even. This is pretty much like you would do it on your phone and you can even press play here to see if the link sticker is in, in, in the way of the action of the video. So you can place it somewhere else. And you can do the same with hashtags. Just click on it, type in any hashtag, add it, choose your color and then you can add the hashtag. If you don't like it, then you can just delete it here. Yeah, same goes with mentions. Just type in the username, click on search, and then you can add the mention. And yeah, you would do this with all the other stickers. I always like this one here, because here you can ask any questions. How are you? Then you choose an emoji, and then you simply click on add slider. And now the slider is added, and you can also drag and drop it around in your story. Yeah, this is how it works with the stickers. Now you can also add some text like a title or a subtitle. You can add images on top of the video if you like. And of course, a lot of people like the GIFs. So you can add a GIF here, down here if you like. And it's also animated. If we click play, then you see, okay, it's also running down here. And this is just Giphy, so you can search for any GIF. And of course, you can add some emojis if you like. And then one specialty about the video, this, as you can see, is a video which is 10 seconds long. And here you can edit the beginning and the end of the video. So I can say, let's start the video after one second, or let's stop it after nine seconds if you like. So you make the video a little bit shorter, like eight seconds in total. And you can always click play and see if the beginning or the end is correct now. And if the video is longer, this is a pretty cool part now. If the video is longer than 15 seconds, for example, you upload a video which is a minute long, then Storito will automatically go in and cut it after 15 seconds, 15 seconds and 15 seconds. So you will end up with four stories and it will automatically take all the stickers and post it in each story. So you don't have to manually cut it on your, on your phone or on your PC before, you can directly just upload the long video to Storito and from one minute it will create you four stories with all the stickers on top. So this is pretty cool. Yeah, and here this is pretty much the editor. So you can click save 
then you will end up in the gallery again. Now, before we post it, we have to go to our Instagram account section here, and here you need to connect your account. So in order to do that, you click on connect new account, and then you will see this upgrade pop up because we have to purchase one account in order to be able to post or schedule to Instagram. We had to do this because our server costs are quite expensive per connected account, and that's why we charge upfront. But it's quite easy. You simply click here on one account or how many you would like to have. You can choose monthly or yearly. If you choose yearly, it's actually cheaper. Then you will click on continue and you will land on the checkout. You can simply enter your email address, your country, your zip code, click on continue, and then you can pay with credit card or PayPal. Once you have done that, you will land on this screen and here you can choose to connect your Instagram account. We have two options. You can either use our proxy service to connect from your country or you can use your own device. The second option is more for agencies or bigger enterprise because the downside of this connection method is that your device needs to be online all the time. So first I would recommend use the proxy server in your country. You just It's pre-selected and it's also recommended. Then you click proceed and then you choose your location. For me, it's Germany, and it's always the capital city. So here, in this case, Berlin. And then the next step, you would enter your username or your Instagram handle. This is the name you see on top of your profile picture. And then you enter your password, click proceed, and then Storito will automatically connect to your Instagram account. So I copy and paste my username, type in my password, and then click proceed. And now it takes a few seconds in order for Storito to connect to your Instagram account. Now it's successful. As you see, everything is green here. Then you can click on save the connection. And then it gives you a pop-up which advises you to go to your Instagram account on your mobile phone, click on settings, security, login activity, and then say this was me because Instagram might send you an email. Then just click on this was me because we connected a Samsung device to your Instagram account now. And we will use this to post the stories to your Instagram account. Yeah, just follow the steps quickly and now you will land back on this view and here you see your Instagram accounts which are connected. You can later on add more connection. This just makes your connection more stable and then you run through the process another time and then you will always have a fallback connection. So if one connection fails, you will always have the fallback connection. Then click on gallery and here we see our Instagram story again. So now I can click on open have a little preview here and when I'm happy I don't have to go to the editor anymore so I can directly click on post and schedule. This is now the scheduling view. Here you have the story again and here's the Instagram account you want to post it to. If you have more than one Instagram account connected you can also click on add another account here and then you can post the same story to both Instagram accounts. For example, we have a gym as our customer and they have 20 different gyms all over Germany and they post sometimes like a Monday motivation, a Tuesday motivation and then of course they can post the same story on all their accounts and this makes it quite simple for their social media manager because you just create the story once and it will be posted on 20 different accounts. So that's the value Story2 can bring to you and you don't have to do it on Sundays or Saturdays because now we can go in and just say, please schedule the story. I will post it now for once so you can see that it actually will go live. So it, it's, it's successfully posted. And then I can go ahead and say, okay, I want to post the same story on Saturday, for example, because I don't want to work on Saturdays at, let's say, 10 a.m. And then I click schedule. And now the story is also scheduled for Saturday at 10 a.m. Here on top, you can also cross post the story to Facebook. So if you pre-select this Facebook page here, then Storyto will also cross post the same story to the Instagram account and to Facebook. And now when we go to schedule, here you can see your Instagram accounts here. You can actually pre-select them. And for example, for this Instagram account, the story went live. You can see this indicated by the green check mark. And as said before, we scheduled the story for a Sunday at 10 a.m. And it's indicated by the blue arrows and the story is upcoming. So here on the scheduling view, you would see your timeline. If you add, for example, one for Monday, Tuesday and so on, it will be placed here. So this is fine now, but let's see if it actually worked here on our Instagram account. I click refresh. I go here, I'll click on my profile picture, and now I see the story was posted with the GIF, with the link sticker, and the slider here. And actually, the link sticker is also clickable, so you can see you will land back on our homepage. Yeah, this was a quick tutorial on how Storito works. You can see Instagram Stories scheduling works with Storito. The same works also for Instagram Reels. Here on top, this is all for Stories, but down here you will see the same for Reels. You can go in, select the Instagram account, upload your Reel video, upload a cover picture, add a caption. You can also add hashtags here, which are quite important for Instagram Reels. 
Then you can also say it should be recommended on Facebook and you can share the reel to your main feed. Down here, it's the same scheduling view. You can either directly post now or say schedule the reel. And then you can click schedule and it will be automatically scheduled. Yeah, this is how Storito works. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, you can just click down here and you are directly connected to our support. We hope it will save you a lot of time, especially during weekends, so you win back your weekends and you don't have to do it manually on your phone all the time. Thank you for listening and see you in the next video. Bye.